We now have the President's Award. Music Canada's President's Award is presented to an individual outside of the music community uh, who exhibits a deep passion uh, for music and the people who make it and who has a, had a considerable impact on the music industry. Josh, I'm not going to tear up as much for you. Uh, but since his election as City Councillor for Ward 15 in 2010, Josh Cole has been a devoted and vocal advocate for Toronto's music scene and industry at City Hall. Josh formed the first task force for music of the city. Remember that crazy little room that you had to get for us? Uh, and it was a predecessor to the Toronto Music Advisory Council, uh, which he then co-chaired. Uh, he has been behind every council motion designed to support the music community and has been the most stalwart champion of our industry at City Hall. In his ward, Josh has been a tireless advocate for increased arts and music programming uh, and connected with youth and music grants opportunities and industry mentors, mentors and he has spearheaded efforts to celebrate Toronto's reggae music history with the creation of Reggae Lane. So it is my honor to present to Josh, my friend, uh, the 2018 uh, Music Canada President's Award. Graham just offered a politician a microphone, so uh, <laughs> I accepted. But soon to be not a politician, so um, maybe I won't be doing this as much anymore. I, I, I want to thank Music Canada, obviously, for this recognition and this award, but also for kind of introducing me to your world. Uh, I'm, I'm continually fascinated by what you all do and what you create uh, and what you contribute to, you know, obviously people's lives, but even to a city and, and, and what the music industry does for the city. And it's been so many cool experiences and opportunities um, that I've had, of course, shows and, and meeting so many artists. But it's, it's things like, I remember Graham having a dinner, I think I was with Gil Moore, and everyone started talking about what your first album you ever bought was. I'm like, I'm sitting talking to Gil Moore about what my first album is, and how cool is this? Unfortunately, it was Karma Chameleon by the Culture Club. <laughs> so I think I lost some of my cool there at that moment. But I've got this exposure to what you do and what you contribute, and it's really been such an honor to learn more about um, how you make our city better, our lives better. And I've also, I mean, a lifetime music fan, of course, but I've, I've had this really, I would say, privilege to see the power of music in a really different way, too. Um, you know, you, when you see what a, a Music Counts uh, a grant does for a community, say in my ward, and how it energizes a community, or, or you see the, how the lives of people are impacted. Graham mentioned Reggae Lane, you know, long forgotten artists who get some bit of recognition for their music and who are overjoyed with that. And so, or, or even the, in the situations where I see young people finally get their first opportunity that music provides to maybe get out of a bad situation or a neighborhood. So I've had this really amazing journey with you. I'm, I'm so grateful you've let me in so I can witness those experiences firsthand, so I can learn how much uh, you give to to uh, to all of us, and I'm I'm so grateful for that, and I thank you for all of that. I want to make a special mention of Music Canada, and Graham and Amy and Jennifer and the whole team. The work they do is outstanding, and I see it as from the policymaker point of view, the decision maker point of view. Music did not was not a discussion before 2010 in the city of Toronto, much less at any other city government, provincial government, and I'm not even sure at the federal government. But the, the way that's been advanced, whereas everyone who would consider running for council or mayor or premier knows that they have to be well-versed in music, they know the issues, I think is a testament to the amazing work you've done. So kudos to, to Music Canada. Um, I'll just close by saying I'm really proud, actually, of what we've accomplished as a city uh, on the music front and how now music has a seat at the table and, and, is, and we've done so much. But maybe I'll kind of close with a bit of a challenge I, I put out to, to all of you in this room and one that I hope that I can continue to help in in some shape or form going forward. And I think that this panel touched a lot on it, is that 
as great as a city is, m so much because of music, uh, as to Toronto is because of music, we risk losing it if the people who create music literally cannot afford to live in our city. Uh, and, or the venues where they learn and we enjoy music can't afford to pay rent in our city. And I don't know what the answer is, and I know it's not an easy answer, but I know there are enough smart people in this room and rooms like this, and that there's that dialogue that has started between government and between the industry to ensure that we do have a city where people, where, where artists can live and work and perform. Um, and I think that the, it's, uh, we've been extremely successful, we have a lot to be proud of, but that's the challenge that we all kind of uh, collaboratively have to take on to make sure that Toronto keeps being the great city it is and many cities around the world and the country continue to be those great cities. So thank you so much, thank you, uh, it's a great honour and uh, again, all I can say is I'm humbled, but thank you so much, thank you.